Ghana is said to be completing a number of important mega-projects, including both buildings and other infrastructure such as railways, roads and airports. All these are evidence of the accomplishments of both local experts and collaborations with foreign businesses. These are evidence of the accomplishments of both local experts and collaborations with foreign businesses. One of the most politically stable nations in Africa is Ghana, which offers a tranquil and predictable working environment and acts as a major entry point into West Africa. Foreign investors are frequently drawn to economies with strong service industries, telecommunications, fast-moving consumer goods, and financial services. With the government concentrating on creating a better business climate for investors, its pro-business approach intends to accelerate economic growth. All of these investments are centered around Ghana for a reason, and that's because of the development in the nation. The challenge, however, was making an exact prediction for most of these projects, as some projects would have some important phases completed this year. Accra SkyTrain project. A fully automated, elevated light rail metro system called the Accra SkyTrain is being developed in Greater Accra, Ghana, with the goal of serving the city of Accra. The network will feature five routes, including one that loops around the center of the city and four radial routes that start at a new terminal at the Quain Nkrumah interchange. 194 kilometers of track are used for all routes. The Ghanaian government and the South African Iski Train Consortium signed a Memorandum of Understanding in 2018. And in November 2019, when a feasibility study was finished, the parties in the Build Operate Transfer Concession deal. The project is definitely one to watch out for in 2023 as its development has already commenced. 9. Marine Drive Accra Project The Marine Drive Accra Project is a 241-acre waterfront redevelopment plan for Accra that extends from Independence Square to the coast and culminates in a coastal overlook with expansive dramatic scenery across the Gulf of Guinea. The project will transform this waterfront into a new public infrastructure with commercial exhibition centers offices, a beach soccer field, recreational and retail facilities. The National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C., among other notable structures, were designed by Sir David Ajoy, a Ghanaian-British architect who heads Ajoy Associates, a firm with studios in Accra, London and New York. The project is being developed by Ghana's Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture. The project's primary goal is to use the tourism industry as a transformative economic force. The project is another one to look out for in 2023 as construction continues. 8. Ghana International Trade Fair Center Redevelopment Project The goal of this project is to transform the 140-acre site of the Ghana International Trade Fair Center into a new cutting-edge, mixed-use, sustainable commercial estate. The World Economic Forum, Africa's convention center and exhibition halls, will be developed as the first part of the project, which will be completed in phases. Phase 2 of the Ghana International Trade Fair Center redevelopment project will include amenities including opulent hotels, upscale shopping centers, and additional residential and commercial development, along with a Made in Ghana trade hub that will support small and medium-sized businesses. This new location will also house a technological hub that will act as a commercial research and high-end manufacturing center to support the government's industrialization drive into the 21st century. The Ghana Commerce Fair Company, which was established to support Ghana's post-independence trade and industrialization initiatives, and is positioned to advertise and exhibit Ghana's goods in order to draw investors, is in charge of the project. 
This is another very exciting project that is already being constructed and it's worthwhile to watch out for it in 2023. 7. Apollonia City Development Project The Greater Accra Metropolitan Area's new metropolis of Apollonia City is being built on a 2,325-acre plot of land between the villages of Oibi and Afinia, about 20 kilometers to the east of Accra. The project is quickly emerging as the go-to location for businesses and individuals looking for a healthier environment outside of Accra's congested city limits. It offers a place to live, work, shop, entertain, relax, and much more, all in a well-designed natural setting with the highest infrastructural standards. Apollonia City is being constructed by Rendezvous, Africa's largest city developer with more than 30,000 acres of forward-thinking projects in the growth paths of significant cities in Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Apollonia City has been in development for a while now, and we can keep our fingers crossed on this as we could very much see this project sprout to life in 2023. 6. Akran Sawam Railway Project Akran Sawam Railway Project, created by Ghana Railway Development Authority in collaboration with the Ministry for Railway Development, entails the conversion of the narrow-gauge railway line that connects the two towns, which are separated by about 43 kilometers, into a standard-gauge railway line. PEC International Limited, the flagship business of RPG Group, the second largest producer of electric power transmission towers in India, and one of the biggest engineering, procurement, and construction firms in the world, is responsible for the construction of the project. The timelines here are a little sketchy, but as construction ramps up it's definitely one to look out for in 2023. 5. Petronia City Project Petronia City is a proposed 2008 city development project that aims to create the first fully integrated business center for the oil, gas, and mining industries in the West African region by providing residential, office, industrial, commercial, leisure, and hospitality spaces. It is located about 8 kilometers from Takaradi, the capital of Ghana's western region. In response to the 2007 oil finding and subsequent increase in socio-economic activity in the region, the project was established to address the aforementioned infrastructural deficiency in Ghana's western region. Ghanaian serial entrepreneur Nana Kwame Bediako and British multi-millionaire real estate developer Azad Kola who owns the famed Westbury Hotel, have formed a joint venture called Wonder World Estates to work on the construction. This project has been one of the most highly anticipated in Africa. It's quite similar to the level of anticipation for the Eco-Atlantic project in Nigeria. Petronia City is a one-off. We can only hope that development accelerates well enough for us to see the project come to fruition in 2023. 4. The Signature Luxury Apartments Project The Signature is a luxury apartment project being undertaken in the newly developed neighborhood of Shiashi in East Lagan, close to the Tete Kwashi Interchange and across from the Accra Mall. It is being developed by Cape May Properties, a full-service real estate company focused on delivering quality buildings at competitive prices good rental yield for investors, and excellent customer service. The proposal includes building studios on two and three-bedroom apartments, as well as a four-bedroom penthouse with a private pool. It has services such as a pharmacy, cafe, restaurant, karaoke studio, movie theater, rooftop pool and bar, ballet and yoga studio, bowling alley, basketball court, fitness center with steam room, spa, grocery stores, concierge service, and 24-hour security, and CCTV, to name a few. 
This project is almost at completion and apartments are already being booked and paid for. It is highly anticipated that the project will be completed in 2023. 3. Project for Construction of National Cathedral of Ghana in Accra The Ghana National Cathedral project involves building an interdenominational Christian cathedral with a number of chapels, a baptistry, a music school, a choir rehearsal, a magnificent central hall, and a two-level auditorium with 5,000 seats on a 14-acre landscaped area next to Osu Cemetery in Accra. The new National Cathedral of Ghana will also have Africa's first Bible Museum and Documentation Center in addition to an art gallery, store, multi-use areas and other amenities. Additionally, it will be connected to the most notable landmarks in the capital city, including Independence Square, Osu Cemetery, the State House and the Africa Unity Circle via a new ceremonial route and landscape. The project is rapidly being developed and it's all but certain that we would see its completion in 2023 except otherwise. 2. Kumasi Paga Rail Project The Kumasi Paga Railway Project, often referred to as the Central Spine Railway Project, entails building about 559 kilometers of rail to connect Kumasi in the center of Ghana to Paga in the north, near the Burkina Faso border. The project, which aligns with the 2013 Railway Master Plan and will be finished soon, would enhance Ghana's rail and logistics infrastructure as a component of a comprehensive transportation system. Additionally, it will aid in lowering transportation costs and improving customer services, particularly for trade going to and from Ghana's hinterland, its northern areas, and the Sahelian nations. Additionally, it is anticipated to ease the movement of people and goods from Ghana's southern to northern regions, as well as from there to Burkina Faso and the Sahelian region. The Kumasi Pada Railway is already nearing completion and it's being closely watched as it could potentially be completed in 2023. 1. Western Rail Line and Takaradi Kumasi Railway Line Project The 339km railway line from Takaradi Port in Ghana's western region to Kumasi in the southern region, with a branch line from Dunkwa to Awaso, is currently being renovationed as part of this project. The nearly $1 billion project entails the rehabilitation of over 200 bridges and culverts, as well as a total of 38 stations, two terminals, and other infrastructure. Along with the rebuilding of the workshops and running sheds, among other amenities, cutting-edge telecommunication and signaling systems will also be installed. The rehabilitation of the railway line, which is essential for transporting agricultural products and minerals from the Middle Belt to Takaradi Port, is under the control of the Ghana Railway Development Authority. Key Bauxite Mines, the foundation of the nation's integrated bauxite and aluminum master plan, are also located there. This project is expected to be completed really soon as its development is slowly taking up shape and it's very plausible that it just might be completed in 2023. Ghana is no doubt transforming for the better and with all these projects, there's no doubt that indeed the future is just around the corner. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.